the spirit of volunteering is one of the definitive characteristics of BAPS. Its roots come from the Vedic principle of selfless service. Parampuja Pramukh Swami Maharaj, the visionary leader and the heart of BAPS, has inspired countless individuals to volunteer their time, effort, and resources for the betterment of their communities. Without the dedication and commitment of volunteers, this 21-acre parcel of land would never have transformed into the magnificent Hindu mandir and cultural complex that exists today. Since 2004, the BAPS mandir in Chino Hills has transitioned through different phases of its construction process. Along each step from grading to laying the foundation, from the installation of base isolators to the careful placement of thousands of intricate hand-carved stones, volunteers played a crucial role. Well, for the past few months, um, ever since school started, it's been a little bit hard to get to Monday, but I try to finish my homework up as quickly as I can, and I try to get to Monday to do Seva and help as much as I can. Uh, during the Haveli construction, I did a lot of carpentry work with these uh, carriers who came from India to help them. Uh, other than that, uh, we did a lot of uh, rebar work or shuttering work, uh, wood work in the Mandir side. Uh, for the construction, for the pouring the concrete around that time. Um, I think the biggest way that I have impacted the Mandir is through Amasevas. And during those times, even though they were not really often, they were only once a month, I got to do things that make me feel that I'm actually helping this Mandir. For example, we cleaned up debris and I got to um, open up stone packages and sweep the Mandir. And my favorite seva was stone polishing because it was a unique seva that I didn't really think I would be able to do. Uh, uh, when I was going through high school, um, right after school, uh, my dad would get off of work as well. And both of us would come to Monday every day and because we had to do the whole paver project. So because of that, right after school, me and my dad came every day to finish the paver project. You know, instead of the recreational things I do, like watching TV and stuff like that at night, you know, I've made it a point to come here every night as much as possible and try to, you know, finish schoolwork ahead of time so that I can spend that time here and help out in this Monday construction. You know, last five years since we started in 2007, we have. Uh, all the engineering staff, including the architect, structural engineer, mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, and the site engineers with the landscape and architect. All those people, we have it full-time volunteers. They all volunteer their time. They're all professionals. One is a Caltran engineer, you know, and he is a high post. We have an architect who lives about 80 miles away from here, but he comes over here and the electrical, mechanical, and plumbing. We have all these volunteers, they are full-time over here, which they do all the designing, all the AutoCAD, and uh, they also supervise the work. That whatever the work is done over here, they make sure that it's done by the drawing and by the code. I think the biggest thing for me personally is, um, I guess, the driving situation, because uh, me and my family, we live in LA, so it's with the traffic and whatnot, sometimes it takes one or two hours to get here. So I think the biggest sacrifice I've been able to make was at least to definitely make it a thing to drive every Friday and come down, bring all the guys from UCLA and so we can stay here for the weekend and do Seva. Obviously, we, you know, I wanted to contribute uh, financially as well. And um, so putting off a lot of things that a normal young adult would normally do in the early 20s, early 30s, you know, things a little bit got delayed, like, you know, buying a house or starting a family or, you know, things like that. Um, but, you know, it's all for the project. The biggest thing for, for, for anybody in school like any, for, uh, to look forward to what is, is always the weekend. Like anybody in school, all week they look forward to the weekend, and that's like the, that's the biggest thing of their week, every week, the, the weekend, right? And what I've noticed is, as far as uh, everybody at Monday, they, they give up their weekends, and that's that's their that's that's what they look forward to all week, the weekend. That's where they either get the work done, 
That's that's the leisure time. That's that's all the free time they have during the week for people that go to school. And coming here, I see people give all that up. That's the that's the biggest sacrifice I see people making is the weekend. Everything from time to resources to even just physically being here all the time, that, you know, it was a really big sacrifice. Living so close to the Mandir, it was, I was fortunate enough to come here all the time, but balancing, you know, work as well as, you know, personal obligations, um, you know, it, it was a hard task, but now that, you know, it was not only me, but, you know, so many volunteers that were doing this, so that was really inspirational, and that's why I was able to sacrifice a lot for this Mandir. I've personally never felt that I'm making a sacrifice because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I felt that, you know, I really want to do this because the Mandir means so much to me. And also looking um, into the future that, you know, this is what the Mandir is going to look like. Imagine what it'll, the feeling that I'll get because I've put in so many efforts. It's just amazing to see that, you know, looking back that what I've done is really worth it. Well, I've had, I've heard a lot of stories in other, like my father actually helped with another Mandir, one of the, another BPS Mandir in Chicago. And when I was a kid, he would go and help out. And every time he's told me that, every time he walks into that Mandir, he feels like it's his Mandir. And so I wanted to make this Mandir my Mandir. And so now like I came, I came here and worked and now it feels like even though it's not done, it, I can still go and I feel like this is my Mandir and I've put my sweat, my, like, my work into this Mandir. Stretching nearly a decade, the construction of BAPS Mandir in Chino Hills was possible thanks to the sacrifices made by its volunteers, like the young working couple who donated money that they had been saving for a house, or the young girl who gave up candy to save money that she then donated to Mandir, the local college students that gave up their leisure time on the weekend, the retired engineer that showed up every day to volunteer his skills, the individual who drove 80 miles to show up every Saturday and Sunday, and the well-wishers who flew across the country during their vacation. These volunteers sacrificed their money, their time, and the comforts and conveniences of their lifestyle to complete this project.